What's up? Back again to uh, finish this thing. Um, so last night we got everything that we needed to get done. Um, my hope last night was basically to get the motherboard back in place. Um, well, in place on the new in the new case, and get the power supply, graphics card, all of the main components in place. So, uh... oh, hey, monster, what's up? Just doing a little bit of a different stream tonight. No, no gaming this time around. Got a got a project that I'm working on. Um, I don't know if you, I don't think you were in last night at all, but uh, my home computer uh, crashed pretty hard. So uh, I am currently working on rebuilding the thing. Long story short, uh, I had a project to rebuild this computer a while ago and uh, just kept putting it off. And a Windows update actually tanked the whole thing and it, it no longer worked um, afterwards. So I figured, yeah, now's probably the best time, better than any, any time to, you know, um, fix it up. But, but no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. How about you? How are you, how are you doing? I guess I, I will technically be doing better, you know, after this is all said and done. But that's good. I'm glad to hear that. You ever do any kind of, uh, like, hardware work with, uh, like, computers and stuff? Because I guess, I mean, technically, this PC that I'm rebuilding is a computer that I built a long time ago. Yeah, it, it's, it's fun. It's weird how many people think that, like, it's uh, overly complicated to get into, but... I mean, I don't know. In my opinion, it's it's actually pretty simple. There's not a lot to a computer. Uh, you know, as on the consumer side of things, that is. But, yeah, uh, really, the only thing I've got to do at this point is get my um, hard drive, which in this particular case, I'm putting in, um, I'm putting in an SSD and uh, be putting one in, so... Uh, one hard drive for like extra storage. I used to mirror them, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I think definitely, and like when I built this thing originally, I was a lot more into hardware than I am today. Now I'm a lot more into the software level of things. Um, I'll tell you the biggest problem I have with hardware in general is just compatibility. I'm not a fan of having to worry about like you know, if this piece or that part is going to work well, so, eh, it's whatever. Yeah, no, I did. I, I managed to uh, finish the game. Um, I, I think pretty well, in fact. I was pretty happy with how it all came together at the end. Uh, I did just go ahead and, and just plow through to the end of it, but I was uh, very excited, very stoked whenever it was actually wrapped up. I thought that the ending was super well done. I was worried that, you know, I think we, we've all seen a game or two that the end is just completely destroyed and they don't do a good job of wrapping it up. But I thought this was really, really well done. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun, though. I, I definitely think that, like, after I get a couple other things going stream-wise, I have a couple other games I want to play through. Um, I definitely think though I'm gonna go back to Subnautica eventually and just try a couple things randomly. Uh, I also want to play through the other game, the other Subnautica game, the Below Zero. I guess it is. I've never played that. I haven't seen anything on it either, so I don't know what to expect there. If it's like basically the same thing, but uh, yeah, I, I look forward to uh, having another run at it. I miss kind of I kind of miss playing it because I mean it had been such a constant thing. I was playing it all the time for what quite a while. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's it's already out on PC though, right? I mean that's been that's been out for a little while, I think. I could be wrong though. <laughs> 
I don't I don't stay up and up with all the games that come out nowadays. Okay, so yeah, just not on the Xbox yet. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty sure it's on the PC. I'd have to check again. I know I don't own it yet, but it's one of those things that I figured I would just pick it up after I played through the first one. So I'm I'm pretty sure it, it was released a, a a while ago actually, but I don't remember exactly when. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually uh Yeah. Yeah, I I I was blown away by the story in, in the first one. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be as in depth as it was. Um You know, because I when I I think I maybe mentioned it to you uh when you when you jumped into the first stream there, but whenever I first started playing it i kind of thought it was like more of an open world exploration game i didn't realize there was such a strong linear storyline to the entire game and when i started to like realize that it kind of changed the way i was playing it it was really really awesome well that's good man yeah it's always it's always good to like support I think it's always good to support streamers in general. I don't really consider myself to be much of a of a streamer. I just kind of do it because I love to play video games and I like to do technical stuff and I also like the ability to kind of like archive some of the stuff I'm doing. So I love the idea of being able to stream, but there are some like really 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 good and impressive streamers, so Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, that's the one thing, like, I don't care if I have two followers or a thousand followers or whatever. It's like, I, I don't know. I'm just doing this because it's fun and, you know, I like having a good time. Well, that's a very cool, that's a very cool little emoticon set. I like that. I don't I don't use any of that stuff on any like stream chats. So I didn't know you could like I don't know they have like so many of those. I've seen them in some other ones, but I thought they were like special for that particular streamer. I didn't know that everybody had things like that. That's really cool. Very subnautica e. <laughs> Reminiscent of subnautica rather. I'm going to swing this camera around so you can stop Stop staring at my grubby beard, and we'll get this thing down oh, into the into the computer case. But feel free to keep chatting. I'm uh I'm reading the chat as well. So uh, let me see here. Oh, geez, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You're in uh Britain, right? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, usually, so like, over there is my computer, and there's another monitor beside it, but, um, I have my camera pulled off of my monitor and hooked up to my tripod so I can uh, focus on building the computer over here. The lighting is a bit of a nightmare. I was saying it yesterday. I really wanted to uh, have a better plan for this particular stream because I knew I was going to be doing this. Um, and I, because the computer crashed, it kind of reprioritized things just a little bit. So I ended up having to uh, just scrap all of the planning. And now I'm using these kind of lackluster lighting solutions. Uh, right now it is 8 p.m., so, yeah, five hours, five hours before you, your time. You can let me know if it's raining there. That way I know if it's going to be raining for me tomorrow, you know, since you're a day ahead of me. 
That's a joke. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. So. <laughs> uh, I I live on the East Coast in America. Yeah, just a like a small little town. Um, close to like State College, if you know where that is, or Pittsburgh. So I live in uh, Pennsylvania. In America, the state Pennsylvania. I don't know. It's it's crazy how many uh, how much other people know about like America. Like they'll know states and things like that. But if you ask people in America questions about other countries, like we're we're so uh, we are disappointingly uneducated when it comes to uh, when it comes to that. So we don't really know a lot about other country geography. I mean, some people do, obviously. Oh, for real? That's pretty awesome. You see, you're going to Pennsylvania, or you're going to like a specific city in PA? Because it's it's weird. If people know um, the layout of Pennsylvania, uh, where I live, it, it depends on how well they know it. Um, so if you know of Pennsylvania, there's a good chance that you might know of two of the biggest cities that we have, which is Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. And if you don't really know much more about the state, then I can say that I'm located in between those two cities. But then if you're really familiar with like all the different cities in Pennsylvania, I can start talking about state college and, and things like that, because that gets a little bit more accurate to where I'm located. Now, I do have slight hang up with the power because we don't have uh, we're, we're not going to have as many devices in here and oh wow I'm actually just now noticing that there are no external fans on this thing ugh or intake fans for that matter I could definitely put some on here and I feel like with this graphics card and this power supply it would be good to have some on here that that's not going to happen tonight I have like a handful of um of fans that I could put in here but honestly they're all pretty crappy they're just from like old builds I'll probably just go out and see if I can buy a um what, like five Five to seven fans, it looks like. If I put them on the side panel as well. Oh, is there an intake up there? Oh, no, no, because there's going to be a CD-ROM drive up on the top. Yeah, I'd say if you're coming to PA, that's not really too much of a little trip for you. That's a, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big trip. Are you, are you, I'm assuming you're, you're flying, but I guess some people could take like a cruise maybe or ship. But are you just are you flying over to here? And what are you doing? Like a tour of uh, tour of the states, or did you just by luck of the draw pick uh, Pennsylvania to come visit? Because of the states, Pennsylvania doesn't have um, a ton of stuff to do in it. Oh, very cool. Well, I hope that, that goes well for you and everything. And I appreciate you stopping in. Um, always appreciated, definitely, if you ever get around to it. I, I don't really have much of a regular schedule, so, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like hit or miss. If you see me on and you have time, jump on in. I'd love to hear from you, I, especially after your trip. I'd love to hear what you thought of the States and, and PA. Um, is this the first time you're coming over to America or... And feel free to just leave. Also, if I'm, if I, I don't, I certainly don't want to keep you up. 
doing. Sixth time. My goodness. I've only been out of the country like three times and it's only been to Canada. So, I mean, it's not... It's not too lavish compared to like going, you know, across the across the ocean and everything. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Jeez. You're well traveled compared to me, man. That's for sure. I've done a fair amount of travel around the states though, which is kind of nice, but God, I had these disconnected. Well, it sounds like an adventure. I hope everything, uh... <laughs> well, that, that, for a descriptor of your trip, that's a, that's an interesting detail. I, I, I like that. That's pretty good, man. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully this trip's a good time for you as well. Australia, Woo. man, you need to like a you need like a map, um, like a colored in map. I have uh, I have like one of one of, like one of these things. I don't know if you can even see that. This is like it's a it's a painted canvas of just America, and I haven't done it yet because I'm an idiot and I I don't ever do anything that I'm. That I'm trying to do, but basically, uh, the idea with this is that you're supposed to like color in the areas that you've actually gone to and traveled. You need one of these for like the whole world, and you can like color in the map to show like all the places you've been. I think that stuff's like kind of cool. I love to travel, but see, I've never even been to Texas, I've been. Uh, I've been basically everywhere on the north and everywhere on the east, but south and southwest. Like I've been everywhere in the north of of like the northern part of America, all the way to the west coast. But I've never been down the full west coast. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you'll you'll be able to like travel and say like, oh yeah, this is for my job. I, I need to I need to go to Hawaii. I need to I need to, you know, go there to study geography and <laughs> Certainly not a bad idea. I mean I guess it could be a bad idea if you don't like to travel any. According to the booklet, there we go. Let's say this whole front cover pops off of here. Yeah, they have two intake fan mount points down here, so definitely going to want to pick those up. And, uh, like, r r roughly, like, how, how old are you? When will you be, like, getting into a job like that? That's a pretty uh that's a pretty lofty goal, I think. Being a teacher for, for like a specific um specific study like that, I guess. Oh nice. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean if you can land it that that quickly that would be that'd be nice. I know in the States here it's a little bit difficult to get uh a job as a teacher. It's like pretty high demand stuff and I don't know, a lot of people um a lot of people in the field, but then there are other schools even here in the States that like don't get the right teacher for the right subject. So like, yeah, if you were to like show up somewhere and be like, Hey, listen, I'm a, you know, geography teacher. What's up? You could probably get a job pretty easily if you're at the right place for sure. Yeah, we're going to leave this plate in here. Don't need to take that one out. And we're just going to hope that the 
CD-ROM drive that I pulled from the computer originally is still functional. Um, if it isn't, I'll have to pick a new one of those up as well. Right now, I'm kind of banking on the idea that a lot of the problems I was having... All right, man. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in. Good night. Have a, have a, have a good one. Good luck with everything you got going on. Sounds like you're a busy, busy fella. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Yeah, I, uh, right now I'm kind of banking on the idea that the, all of the stuff in the other computer, the problems I was having with it was software related. I think that the operating system was just kind of slowly killing itself to begin with. So these are always pretty interesting. Like they have like these weird clips on the side. Nothing over here. Um, let me swing this around. Okay, so this says push, but also it's not really anything there to push it. Ah, but there are wires up there So I think I was running into. I see. Wow, this thing is actually pretty tight. Okay. Well, it's in. And now we just take this plate out of the front cover. They usually make these pretty easy. And uh, we're good, we're golden. It did come with one plate, um, so if I wanted to mount a uh, like a, an IR sensor into it or um, a USB panel, uh, such as what I had in my other one, my other computer, uh, you can very easily adapt the front panel to actually fit that pretty well. Um, although with only one, it is a little limiting, obviously. I know in my other one, I had two, so it was like if I put both of those in there, It wouldn't work very well. Also, not a big fan of how that thing goes, comes off and goes back on. Um, too much clicking for plastic like that. Having it pop like that is very um, unsettling. Because it, it's almost like a feeling of this is either going to work or I'm going to break it. And then you're dealing with this broken plastic. And obviously, there's not a lot you can do there. Okay, so we've got our gutter city ROM drive in. Now we're gonna get the hard drives and the SSD in. Okay. So these have like the quick mounts, which yeah, whatever. I mean, they're okay. I I guess I prefer more stable connections, but like with screws, but it is nice to be able to just like pop things in and out like that, so. Um So here is my SSD. It is a crucial brand uh 240 gig SSD. Uh, in my opinion, you know, you don't really need anything too extreme um when it comes to these cuz you know, it's mostly going to be hold, holding my uh, 
the operating system and you know some of the key files and installation files. I'll have this drive in there, just a, a standard one terabyte Western Digital uh, Black. Uh, I'll have that in there as a uh, backup for storage in case you would we would need it. Though I will shortly be putting together my my main data drive uh, or my main data server rather. So this guy is going to go in there like that. I think that's the direction we'd want the SATA. So it would line up with, yeah. And these are pretty neat because uh, SSDs are so incredibly small that you don't need a lot of room here, um, like at all, uh, to put to put them in there. So you can actually put two in one of these. Uh, you can, probably can't see that because the light. You can put two of these, one underneath the other. So one tray can hold two SSDs. And I was pretty sure that I had a tray up and I have some storage for like different computer parts and stuff. But I decided that instead of actually instead of actually taking the time, I feel so lazy saying this, but the reality is I just didn't have the time, but instead of taking the time to go up and search for it, I just bought two new ones from uh, Best Buy, actually, today. They they had two in stock, so I was like, you know what, just just give me them. They they were cheap enough. The tray was only like six bucks, um, and with the stuff that I do... I, Occasionally, I could see myself needing one of these and not having them, and I'd be annoyed. So I figured, eh, yeah, I'll just grab it now, and that way I have one for the future if I find myself in a position that I do need one. I do have another SSD for a different build uh, that I don't know if I'll be actually doing or not. So if I really wanted to, I'd be able to... Uh, I'll be able to use that tray for it. I am sorry. Do you want to work with me a little bit here? I am fairly confident. That these are, in fact, the screws that had come with this thing. We're going to see if I'm off my rocker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, not doing something right here. Oh. They are different screws. Those were the, uh, the outside mounting ones, which I don't need. So I'm glad that I have those open and out here in the way. Too used to uh, Legos, you know? You, you buy a box of Legos, they give you like 12 extra of every little shape. Actually, not 12 of each. But you end up with like two spare blocks um, out of the kit. Why and how they picked those particular blocks to be the ones that you needed spares of, I, I don't know. I also don't know why they put these things in little Ziploc bags and then wrap tape all the way around the bag. Ugh. But I always uh, assume when I get these kind of things that they're giving you extra. So when I opened it, I saw... Um, you know what? I'm just going to cut this. Anyway, yeah, I saw three bags, and I thought, 
Oh, clearly one of those is going to have like extra screws that I don't need. But the reality was that one bag contained the screws for the tray and the other bag, other bags contained screws for the drives. So, you know. There we go. All right. And this probably will require a smaller tip. On the screwdriver. See, look at that. That actually fits in there pretty nicely. Maybe it doesn't need a smaller tip, actually. It's not so much the, uh... Like the tininess of that... Actual tip, as much as it is, like, the blade or the, the fin... On the Phillips head. It's got, it just has to be enough to fit. You nearly died in 2020? Are you still there, Yeet? I didn't even see that message. I thought you were gone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's not cool. Hopefully not from COVID. If you are, if you are still there, um, I unfortunately had gotten COVID. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't a bad run of it. However, unfortunately, it sounds like the people who had the lesser intense run uh, end up with longer lasting symptoms that just kind of linger. So I've been dealing with a lot of lingering problems from my COVID. Um, it took a while to get over it as well, so it was, uh, a little scary, because obviously, like, with everything going on with it. Oh. Dude, that's awful. And when you say bike, are you talking like motorcycle or like like a pedal bike? Not that it makes a lot of difference given the like damage. Motorbike. Yeah. I kind of assumed that, but you know what assuming does. Jeez, that's that's I don't know. That's crazy. When I was a kid, I used to think I wanted to get a, a motorcycle when I grew up, but I um, I decided that they were a little bit too dangerous for my blood. I tend to be overly paranoid about things, so... Alright, what the heck? Well, it's a good thing that you uh, that you didn't die. I'm glad that um, that panned out. Were you in the hospital for a really long time? Jeez. Yeah, I had a um I have a cousin who he he ended up 
he wrapped his uh, bike around a tree. He was going pretty, pretty fast. I guess I shouldn't say wrapped it around a tree because that's not really how it works with bikes, but he hit a tree and he was like thrown off the bike into the tree. Um, he's still dealing with like a lot of problems. That was like almost a year ago, I think, that he had, that it happened to him. Yeah, it definitely will get you a lot of attention whenever that kind of stuff happens. A lot of people come out of the woodwork that you probably don't even know necessarily cared, but like they're all there to kind of support you through it. Ho hopefully they're there to support you through it and like help you. Because it kind of depends on the circumstance. But yeah, motorcycles are, are really... Really quite dangerous. Oof. Jeez. So I, I think, like, any car crash is scary, but I feel like when that kind of stuff could happen, that's, like, I don't know. That's, like, a different level of scary. I've been in one car accident. I I I, uh, I I wrecked my car like ten years ago now, maybe more. Um, luckily, it wasn't a bad accident, so I didn't have any like lasting injuries from that that we know of. I did almost die though. At one point, I had a um, I actually had a a non cancerous tumor on my intestine, and it had gotten like stuck inside of itself. And it was, like, basically pulling my intestine, like, through itself, if that makes sense. And um, it, like, all of a sudden, like, just like that, I had, like, excruciating pain. I uh, had to go to the hospital. Took them forever to figure out what was going on. Uh, I apparently was very close to having it rupture, which, if that would have happened, the doctor said that I would have died. I, I don't know doesn't matter because it didn't happen that's that's the important thing and uh they were able to get it all patched up but yeah i've got a, a crazy scar like the whole like light length of my stomach because they had to like just basically gut me to take care of it but scars can be kind of cool looking i don't necessarily think that mine's cool looking um it just kind of depends i guess right but but that's still it's 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 terrifying like how quickly things like that can turn around and, and change on you. But I'm glad you're okay. For sure glad you're okay. And that Oh, you, you sure people don't want to see it? <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You know, people are, everyone likes their own thing. All right, I am going to slap this hard drive in here now while I have this thing out. I, I don't necessarily like how far out these drives are sticking into the case, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. It does look like you can slide them in the other way, um, but honestly, 
I don't want to. See that wobble there? Not a fan of that. Yeah, so, so I mean, yeah. If if you if you're really interested in you know whether like anyone who looks, you can just hand them like a survey and be like, you know, please fill this out and let me know what you thought of the view. But <laughs> just saying, you never know. Do you, do you, do you both ride bike or does she like just does she just like ride your bike? That's a little annoying. The only uh, the only SATA power cables that I have currently hooked up to the modular PSU are a four port and a two port. I, I are a yeah two plug or a four plug. I have another two plug as well, but um, I only need three. So we'll see here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's... <laughs> well, first, yeah, I definitely think you know, you're going to find a lot of people who probably appreciate the view, uh, certainly. And um, as far as... Uh, as far as that goes, like, yeah, that's... That that that, that in itself is, is terrifying. Um, I guess it would be a lot harder to manage a wreck if you're riding with someone as well because like you don't know what they are going to do or how they're going to react or how the wreck will affect them and if you try to help in a certain way you could hurt them but if you don't help then it, you could it could lead to them being hurt more so I, yeah i mean that that I don't know, man. That's that's definitely like that's way too scary of stuff for me. I don't know how people can deal with that. I'm assuming the riding of the bike though is probably just like crazy amount of fun it's kind of hard to think that like you wouldn't do it yeah, so this is the pack that came with the PSU back you know 12 years ago when I bought this thing um, lots of Molex connectors that I don't currently need Not seeing a three plug SATA power. So we have the four and we have the two. And that's that's our those are our options. So I think what I'll probably do is just use the one four and pull both of the twos that I've got out. Um, rather than having to run two separate cables or you know, two separate power lines up the side here. Uh, and then we'll just have an open port. Now, truth be told, I don't know if I can leave the middle one open or not. So we'll have to... We'll just see. We'll try it and see if we get power. Okay, so I want to pull that one. And I want to pull that one.
Well, as long as everybody was okay, that's the most important thing. Yeah, at least you weren't going crazy fast. I had a friend, I so I have a friend, actually, I have a, a current friend as well. Back in high school, I had a friend who, um, who rode bike, and I have a friend now that rides bike, and I know that in talking to all of them during their time, you know, riding bike, they, uh, they definitely drove the bike very fast. Like, crazy fast. Uh, when I was younger, I, I used to like speed, like, even on just, like, my bicycle. Like, I would just, like, go downhill as fast as I could, pedaling like crazy. But, I don't know, as I got older, I started to uh, kind of fear how mortal I was. Like, if I wreck going this quick, there's a good chance that I'm going to probably, like, bust my head open and that'll be the end of me. Are all of these in one plug? No. Good. I will need Molex connectors here. Well, uh, the, the Molex power for fans when I get them, I'm sure. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can put that in whenever I put the fans in. Really love this power supply, though. Ooh. Yeah, I yeah, you're you're right. Honestly, that is kind of the thing, right? Like you gotta you've got to test not only like what the the machine is possible of doing, but what you as a person are are capable of handling. I think it's just, it is a little scary because, like, if you make a mistake, it could cost you your life. But, I don't know. Also, there's so much stuff that can kill you. So, you can't live your life in fear, I suppose. But 164 is, uh... Maybe a little fast, you know? We're going to bring bring the power up to the CD-ROM drive first. That'll give us the right orientation of these SATA plugs for the drives below it here. Plug into the SSD. And plug into the hard drive. Okay. Now we got to get these things talking to the motherboard. Um, this cabling is getting a little tight now. Uh, not that that's super surprising. Um, I also, I really hate the wobble on this. Um, this, this drive feels so, so loose in here, but the good thing is once this thing's sitting up, gravity will be on my side. Everything should be, you know, working for me there, so. Yeah, I, I, I could see that. Yeah, I've, I've definitely heard that, you know, motorcycles uh, oftentimes do attract a fair amount of attention, for sure. I think it's like just that like thrill of excitement and everything.
so we got these SATA cables here. We gotta route down accordingly. It's four, five, two, three, zero, one. So zero is going to be the main. Okay. And this is where I start getting a little frustrated with cable management because I've got too much going on down there to really get keep everything clean. But I will do a I'll do a red one for my CD ROM drive. See, if I was thinking about this better last night, I would have been able to uh Put all these cables in place before I put the graphics card in, which would have really saved me a lot of headache, but I didn't do that, and I'm not about to pull it all out of there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody was cheering you on. Yeah, it's definitely like a definitely a conversation piece or like an, an eye catcher. Especially if you see like a really cool looking bike. Alright, we're gonna feed this through behind the motherboard because it's a little it's a little too cramped. Get and tip this thing up. Yeah, 100%. I think, uh... Oh. Sorry about that. I was trying to eyeball something there. Could not see. Yeah, I think, um... That's sort of the edge, right? Like, do you... Does the fun outweigh the danger for you or not? And I think for some people, it does. And for other people, I think that they let it get into their head a little bit too much. I think that's kind of where I am. I've always sort of let fear and stuff like that to uh, kind of restrict and, and keep you from doing stuff. And I definitely fall, fall victim to doing that for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of just having like chill chatting streams because it's sort of nice to, to meet people and talk to them about like their lives and everything. Sometimes like when I'm playing a game, it's a little bit harder to do that. Nope, 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 nope. Hate that. Alright, we're gonna go in the other way so that the 90 is going in through the thing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. 
chill vibes. I feel like it's a better time overall, like, as far as a stream goes. Because when I'm playing a video game, I do have to focus a little bit more on... That's not gonna fit. To focus a little bit more on the actual game itself. Yeah, so the 90 is too sharp. It's too sharp of a degree down, so... That's gonna be in the way. Ugh. Frustrating. And this is when I start to lose my mind cable management. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just like getting some time to go out, hang out with friends, chat, chill, grabbing a cold drink, going for a bike ride, things like that. I could be a thousand percent happier. With this cable routing job I just did. But. You know, it's a it's a it's a home build, so it's not like this thing has to be pristine. It's 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 fine. It's just going to bother me for a while until I forget about it. And then the next time I need to get into here to do anything with it, I'll see it and I will curse myself out for allowing myself to do something so horrible with the cable. But that's fine because that will be later and not now. I think people who, like, build these things from, like, scratch for, uh, like, the big-name companies, and you get them, and the cable management inside is just, like, pristine, I, I am jealous of that. Like, that is a crazy ability. That is so impressive. But, uh, I just don't have the patience for it. I really don't. Okay. So that's hooked up. Oh, that's a smart that's a smart move. Yeah, it's best not to have the bike there. I mean, if you're going to be drinking. Yeah, man. No, definitely. Uh, sleep well. Have a, have a great night and everything. Hope to see you in another stream in the future. Not sure how many of these like chill streams I'll be doing, but I imagine they'll they'll come up again in the you know in the future here and there. I know I have like two other machines I've got to do some work on. I'll probably just open a stream up during that time as well. But um, yeah, it was definitely good. Definitely good talking and uh, good good learning a little bit about you and your interests. That was. It's it's crazy. Just be careful riding your bike. <laughs> no 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 more accidents like that. Yeah, have a good one then. Oh, thank you. I think I will. I think it's going pretty well right now. Minus the cable management. Okay. All right, we got to get one more cable in here.
No, I was going to do the 90, but... That's all I have out. Let me go pull a new cable. Yes, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, have, have a good one. It is terrifying even, even reading. Yeah, so I, I always I always have like a, a handful of SATA cables on hand. Um, yeah, honestly, you buy a couple one time and that's usually enough to keep you going because... Uh, if you fix computers, or if you're fixing computers, then, I mean, every time you get a computer in, you can usually pull a SATA cable out of them. Um, unfortunately, in my line of business, a lot of people give me their broken computers that they do not want anymore. And then I'm just stuck with all of these old machines. But, in all honesty... It's not the worst thing, because I do get a lot of components that way. Uh, and that does actually kind of come in handy. Okay, so that's plugged in. Now re-plug this one in. See, this is a problem. Uh, please. The problem is that the SATA port is stacked. So there are two SATA ports right on top of each other. which gets in the way. Because each plug... I'm gonna have to get one that doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a button on the top. I actually have this uh, extra short mini one that does not have a uh, have a tab on it. So what I was saying is like a lot of them have a um, like a little button on the top that you have to push down to release, which is nice because like it holds in the socket better that way. But the problem is that that's elevated up from the top of the um, from the top of the uh, connector, so. If you have two SATA ports that are stacked on top of each other, 
the one on the bottom, that like button is actually sticking up too high and it gets in the way. But this doesn't have those buttons, so that's kind of nice. It's also like super short, which I think will be good enough for what we're doing here. Sometimes the short ones can be problematic because obviously you want to go a little bit farther, but. And that fit in there perfectly. go very uh unfortunate because the 90 actually had to go the other direction on the drive it almost would have been better to put the hard drive down lower um but i i wanted them up closer to the top uh i don't really know why Probably could have been just fine putting them down lower. Okay, well, it is what it is. It's done now. So we got our got our drives in, got them hooked to the motherboard, so that's good. Uh, we got the CD-ROM drive in, got that hooked to the motherboard. We also have um, power run to all of these devices. So we should be good at this point to plug her in and boot her up. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else that needs to be dealt with. Obviously, this isn't exactly ideal because I don't have um, like any fans in here. So that kind of is unfortunate, but you know, I can add fans later. It's not like a big deal. Uh, as long as we don't leave this thing running all day, um, it shouldn't be too bad right away uh, it will be nice to have especially the output fans on the top here because i mean heat rises so having that get vented out a lot nicer will be a good thing uh and then having the one on the top back of course would also be good it's a little surprising that this thing didn't come with any fans at all i guess but you know it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is sort of pause video for a moment. Um, I'm going to... Well, I can get the sides back on this thing. Yeah, and this side here has space for two fans as well. Uh, I... <sighs> I'm not a huge fan of putting a fan on the side panels because I feel like they kind of get in the way. Uh, when you go to take the side panel off, you have to worry about like killing the fan power. I also think that for this case being a little bit of like a lower end case, not extreme, like, bottom of the barrel, but it is lower end. Uh, I I'm very happy with the, uh, the layout of the back panel here. I think that they have just the right openings and just the right places to kind of make it easy to install everything that you need to install. So, you know. Just a, a bit of a an important call out because I think a lot of times people think you need to buy really, really high end cases to get like nice features. And the truth is, yeah, I mean, the more expensive cases probably do have a lot more crazy features to them and they could be superior on a number of levels. But if you're looking to make a budget build, 
you don't need that. You don't need to drop a fortune on the on the case at all. So, there were only a few complaints that I had about this case, all in all. Um, the thumb screw on the back here is a little tight. Actually, they're all a little tight. Just typically means, like, the, the metal's not necessarily, like, perfectly cut, so to speak. Um, the hard drive bays, while there's a ton of them, and I count that as a plus, uh, they're a little tight, uh, organized wise, like in, in in comparison to like where you would fit your uh, motherboard. Now, granted, I do have a full ATX motherboard in this thing, which I believe is the biggest motherboard, especially the biggest motherboard that'll fit in this case. Um, and at the end of the day, I guess it's not the biggest motherboard for any computer, but basically, it's the largest one that you're going to get in here anyway. Um, so I guess the fact that it can support it, maybe they should do a better job of, and maybe they did, and I just don't recall, because again, I bought this case long, long ago. Uh, but they should probably have recommended uh, a smaller smaller form factor so that you, you, you weren't so crunched for space um, with your drives. But not that any of that is that big of a deal. I think we're in. Everything seems pretty squared up. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to uh, tell my camera not to autofocus, so that means it's doing a terrible job of trying to autofocus endlessly. Okay, something's going on with that thumb screw. For those that could not see, I didn't have it in the right place at all, so it wasn't threading into anything. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, and the other negative, I guess, negative marks were no fans included, but I could have done my own research on that, figured that out, and ordered the fans way in advance and had them, so that's really kind of partially also just on me. Um, and then the other issue that I didn't really care for was the way they did their PCI slots. Uh, you couldn't really reliably screw the PCI cards down to better secure them. Um, I did. I ended up doing it, but it, it just sort of was a little uh, lackluster. Um, that, as well as all of the parts that you have to remove to put stuff in, such as like the, the cover for your PCI slots, they punch out of the metal. So it actually like breaks the metal off. You can't replace them later. Um, so that's a little bit annoying, but also not like a super big deal because how often are you removing something from your PCI slots and not putting something back in its place? So, you know, you got to weigh all that stuff out and decide whether or not it really matters to you. All right, so what I'm going to do is go silent here for a minute while I take this thing over to the dedicated stand, put this thing on there, plug her in, and get it hooked up to the monitor. And then we'll kick this back on and uh, kick off the installation process, make sure it at least boots up. Not going to lie, there could be some issues with that, um, just like the install process in general, but we won't know until we get to it. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going to that.
Okay. So, I'm back. Uh, let me actually fix this camera. Uh, I do need to break down and get a new camera. Someday I will. Wait, what? Focus. Apply. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's not trying to autofocus on it and I'm just losing my mind. It's very possible. Okay, let me angle this ever so slightly. And no, that camera on top of that computer is not my normal webcam. So, haha. <laughs> That's actually uh, such an ancient webcam. I had to buy that for my college class. Um, what college class, you might wonder? Uh, uh, English? It was an English class. It was like public speaking, actually. It was just a public speaking course. Uh, we had to, because I took, a, it was an online class. So I actually had to record myself with that camera talking in front of a group of individuals about a certain topic uh it was a terrible camera i mean looking at the like quality that the current camera that i have is giving me which i don't even think is like stellar um it's still significantly better than what that one ever was able to do but it got me through college, so that's all that really matters. Um, so first things first, we're going to do the oddly satisfying thing and peel this cover off. Perfect. Okay, and now we're going to give her a boot. Um, but before we do that, I do have a, uh, a Windows 10. Can, is that, can you read this? Does it matter? It says Windows 10 64-bit. Um, it's just a ISO burn to, uh, it, it's, it's a bootable, um, thumb drive that I've built for, um, doing Windows 10 installations or rather, haha, <laughs> repairs, uh, it is older. It's an older version of Windows 10, but it is still Windows 10 64-bit. I imagine that it should allow you to do like automatic updates, and hopefully it still works, because sometimes my luck with these thumb drives is that they are garbage pretty much a day after I buy them. So if it doesn't work out for us, I will probably have to go back to the drawing board as far as like, well, no, I'll probably just have to end the stream, because I'm not going to take the time to download a new um, ISO and, and burn a new bootable drive and everything so all right uh, a little bit of crud on this The front panel is a little unstable. I don't necessarily like that, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and see what happens. Um, scream if you see fire. So nothing happened. Most likely because I didn't actually flip the power switch on the power supply. Let's check that. That was the case. So we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. See if it'll power up. So this is another life lesson, right? 
um, whenever you are doing something technical and somebody says like, hey, my computer won't turn on. What's the running joke? Is it plugged in? The answer to that question for me right now is no. I don't have it plugged in right now. I unplugged it earlier today because uh, I actually have a a UPS that I want to put in place for it to be plugged into. So I'm going to put that down now and uh, get it plugged in, and then we should be good to power it up. And of course, talking about stuff that just doesn't want to go easily, right? Uh, this, this is one of them. It's not like a big problem. Um, just running into issues with my current like setup. Quit out of that. I have, uh, I have only so many plugs in this room, and let me eject these. Thank you. And thank you. So, in this one plug that basically is used to power the computer uh, and its peripherals, um, the one, it, it, there's no open plugs. It's going into uh, two surge protectors and those surge protectors are tied up right now. So I just had to free one of those up so I could unplug it and free up a plug for me to use for the UPS. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing powered up.
bug is. It's one thing. That's the other thing. Surge only side. Forgive all the earthquakes, but I've got like a thousand things plugged into like different things. And the one surge protector that's down there, it's a good surge protector. Don't get me wrong, but it's one of those ones. It's like it's like a stick, but it has like a random outlet on the side of the stick, uh, along with all the ones across the top of it. I never really cared for that too much. I don't know. Just a personal thing. But, uh, we are powered up, and uh, we should be able to kick the, P the PC on finally now. So, without further ado, let's see if this thing actually turns on. Now, if it doesn't this time, I'm pretty sure all the tricks are out of the bag. Um, so that will mean we have a actual hookup problem. And we'll have to tear it all apart again. Usually I would have powered this thing on once prior to putting the sides on, but I uh, just was being overconfident at this point. So, let's just hope that it actually does power up. So it's it's powering up. It's not only powering up, but we're also getting um, we are getting display, which is great. We are getting uh, both lights going on. Uh, seemed to find an interesting set of uh, data there, which I'm not too sure I like seeing, but that's okay. We'll just kind of work with it here. Uh, but. All the lights, everything going on, and the power on that and everything, it does seem like the hardware is in good position. Um, it is choking on loading operating systems, so that's not a big deal. At this point, we've got to tell it that we want to boot it from um, the uh, the bootable thumb drive. So, we're going to go ahead and do a restart. I'm not sure if you can hear that sound either, but that is the fan on the graphics card. Unfortunately, it is not in the best shape. Um, graphics card itself is working just fine, but the fan is giving me trouble. Um, that's something that had happened a while ago, but it actually stopped making such a noise uh, after a little while. I think that it just got like a loose, like a, a bearing inside's messed up, but... Not going to worry about it right now. Just going to kind of move forward with the installation and see if we can get things moving.
So not really happy with what I saw there. Does look like the the USB thumb drive here might not actually contain something that we can use to boot to and do an installation from. In all honesty, there's really nothing more to show at this point anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up. We haven't quite hit a two hour mark, but these kind of streams, I, I don't really necessarily feel like I have much of a target amount of time that they should be occupying or anything like that. Um, I have to get this thing taken care of, get this thing wrapped up. So what I'll probably end up doing is just bouncing back to my main PC over here, downloading a new Windows 10 image, burning that to a bootable thumb drive, and uh, basically doing exactly what we just did, but hopefully with a usable image. So that said, I uh, think that's going to be it for me tonight. Me. I just look at the all of my anime stuff. Okay. Hey, there's my shirts. There's me. What's up? Hey. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so definitely some interesting format to like a stream. I'm not like good at any of this like actual on camera work but uh you know it, it could have gone a lot worse and we do have a powered up pc at this point um i'm pretty sure we'll be able to get everything working on it just fine um it's just a matter of time now to get that image burned and hopefully the operating system will be valid um the hardware is the same except for the hard drive so hopefully uh, it doesn't squawk about that too much but um i'll probably give like a, a a verbal update on this whole thing on my next stream which in theory could be tomorrow but uh will definitely I, I should definitely be streaming monday if i'm not on tomorrow so that said, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here so I can go dive into this a little bit deeper and focus a little bit on getting that computer working. Um, but to anybody who stopped in, found any of this interesting, thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Um, and hopefully, you know, again, hopefully it was entertaining. Hopefully I'm not being entirely boring. Not that this stuff is exactly a super exciting content, but um, I think to the right person, it could be kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah. If you, if you did stop by, thank you. And if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, I appreciate you taking the time to do that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to that's gonna do it. So I hope to see you all in the next stream. Yep. See you.